What's going on everybody and welcome back to another SD Gundam Battle Alliance video. Today we're going to be looking at the Freedom Gundam from Gundam Seed. This suit is an all-rounder so it's balanced in both melee and ranged combat which makes it a great choice for beginners. In order to develop the Freedom you're going to need two different types of blueprints. The first comes from the Victory Song of the Resistance Break mission and the second comes from the Descending Sword True mission. I believe you need two of each to develop the suit but I'll be honest I wasn't recording when I actually finished it so I'm not 100% sure. So let's start by taking a look at Freedom's base stats. Its health is a little on the low side for an all-rounder, both the gun cannon and the Ario start out with more base health than this suit. Its melee stat is slightly higher than its range stat which is fairly standard for all-rounders. Usually I spec my all-rounders into melee, health, and boost and tend to ignore the range stat, but the Freedom is one where I would actually recommend investing points into range and I'll get to why in a second. Let's take a look at the suit's loadout. Its main is a standard beam rifle, and its two sub-weapons are its hip-mounted railguns and the beam cannons that are stored in its wing binders. Its special attack is of course its iconic full burst using all of its ranged weapons. So you can see why I think it's a good idea to spec into ranged. Both its sub-weapons and its special attack are all ranged attacks, so you want these to hit as hard as possible. Because of its range capabilities, I find the freedom is very strong in boss fights against mobile armors. This could just be because I'm still getting used to the game, but I find that meleeing mobile armors is kind of a pain and doesn't offer much reward for the risk involved. Because you can't knock them into the air or tackle them with melee subweapons or anything like that, you're very likely to eat some damage if you get too close. Since the Freedom is a range heavy suit, it can poke away at these bosses like you'll see later in this video. The one other thing that I think is worth mentioning about the Freedom is that his heavy melee attack is a little bit different from the others I've seen. While most suits have a pretty standard downward slash or something along those lines, the Freedom first slashes through and then loops back around in the air for the smash. Not only does this look really cool, but it helps you get in and out of combat really quickly which can help prevent you from getting surrounded. That's my quick breakdown on the Freedom, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and let me know in the comments what suits you want to see next. <laughs> どうして不安を受けるなんて敵味方に分かれて戦ってはいてもいい人間はいる分かり合えるんだ俺にはそれだこの卑劣な戦争でもただ一つの希望だと思っていいでも私たちは戦争をしているんですよ皆姉さんガ
どうやらお前とは言葉に通じないようなあなたとはもうずっと前か私には貴様愛など粘膜が作り出す幻想に過ぎん母様もそうやって我らを捨てたのだぞ己投稿しましょうそして楽になりましょう貴様すいませんまさか貴様なのかお前のせいで妹は死ななければならなかった撃ったのか実の妹をまさかありえん愛の返せ目を覚ましてくれ死ぬなアイナーそんなそんなまた一緒になれたアイナが生きていた貴様が止まっている兄がくれたこの時計がまた二人をつないでくれたアイナ生きていたのかすぐ楽にしてやる兄が妹を殺すお前を天野少尉アイナさんを連れて下がってくださいここはギャザーロード隊に任せてお姉さんちょっとすまないありがとう何やってんのクルーミッションなんだよ私たちが成立させる招待状ジオン広告の栄光のため我がサハリン家繁栄のためにグレンの炎に焼かれされとなれ私の夢を受け取れ貴様らごときに私の生涯をかけた夢が分かってたまるものかバカなこの私が私がこれはどっちを振り返そこだ我が夢ここで朽ち果てるというのかアプサラス3撃破確認これで手術は成立するはず管理システムからの警告はなし選手との際は自動修復モードで対処はさくらごめんやっぱり成り立たなかった<笑>おこごとは後でするとしてトゥルーミッションの再登録はできそうだよともかくブレイクアウトするね少しだけ歴史をねじ曲げちゃったのね私対話のためここでやられるわけにはいかない